All right. Good evening. Um, obviously disappointed with the loss. Um, you know, and then the you know things that stood out for us in a positive way was the defense. You know, the defense played really well. Um, uh, we you know uh, really good on third down. Uh, we were they were 0 of six I think in the first half and ended up being two of 11 for 18 percent, uh, which is a positive there. So uh, you know the defensive staff were really hard at that uh, this week, and we were certainly pleased with that. I thought the run defense was was good um, up until you know that last drive or the the drive before we gave up some runs. So I thought we were solid there. Pass defense was outstanding. Um, you know, I think we held the, the opponent to, you know, uh, low passer rating and, and did a nice job of defending the pass. Um, had some good sacks, you know, had some third down sacks, which was good, you know. And then really uh, for offense, you know, the offense I thought, you know, did a really good job, you know, with driving the football. You know, we had a drive of 66 yards and then we had the interception, you know, that bounced off of the helmet there. Then we end up going for it on the, the next 66 yard drive and uh, went for it on the fourth in inches down there and couldn't, couldn't plunge it in down there. Um, and then right before the, coming out of halftime, we, we you know, scored a touchdown, uh, which was excellent. And then, uh, you know, we went on uh, the last two drives there. We ended up, you no know, went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. And then our defense did an outstanding job of right, rising up there when we didn't get that fourth down and then forcing a missed field goal. And then we drove it the, all the way down the length of the field. Um, to give ourselves a chance to win it at the end there, and then didn't didn't punch it in there. So, obviously, you know the the storyline will be, hey, we got a you know nice drive drives for the offense, but you got to be able to punch it in in the red zone and and those types of things. But uh, I told the guys I was proud of them the way they fought and the way they the way they battled uh, during the course of the you know the the day. And uh, again, it's all about execution. You know, it comes down to six or seven plays. And I told the guys, listen, it's it's we're right there. We're right there. You just got to keep believing and keep believing in what we're doing, how we're doing it, and uh, we're right there, and we're going to get over that hump right there. Um, you know, and they got some time to self-reflect right now, and I told them that. They got a little mini buy here. Uh, coaches, coaches will be in there doing self-scout, and uh, they, they're going to be looking at their own performances, how they can per get better coming back going into our uh, week against uh, New England Patriots. So I will open up to questions from there. What do you need to do to be better in the red zone? You know, it comes down, you know, you saw it, right? It comes down to execution. You know, I, has, I thought we had some real good plays in there. We just got to, uh, you know, hit the guys when, when, they're, when they're in the, uh, you know, when we had the play on and hit the guys in, in the open, you know, like for Griffin there. I thought that was an excellent play. Um, we, did, and we just got to execute as a group. You know, we got to execute as a group better, better down there, and uh, we'll get that done. And when it comes to the pass that was bounced off the helmet, yeah. is there a concern for Justin's mechanics possibly? No, I mean, sometimes your arm angle changes because he's trying to fit it in there. You know, there's a lot of big bodies in there. So a lot of times you, you will change your arm angle, you know, based on what window you see in front of you. So, uh, you know, you can't fault him on that. He was trying to fit it in there, and that's just what happened. And we got to do a good job when the ball goes up. Somebody's got to go, do a good job of knocking it down. Uh, some of that's in the vicinity there. There's three, the three red zone trips, I mean, the way they ended were so different on all three. Were you yeah. Kind of scratching your head a little bit on how you guys, how that could kind of happen that way? Um, no, I mean, the first one was a, a interception, right? The second one was on downs, a fourth and inches, and the last one was, you know, in just the like, corner there, didn't get it. Right, just like the luck of you not being able to convert all three of those. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes. You know, we got to do a better job executing. Really, and you think about it, do a better job, you know, of us on first, second, or third down getting the ball in there, so not putting yourself in that fourth down situation. From your view, did you think Darnell got in on that fourth and fourth play? I don't think he did. Yeah, I didn't think he did. I, I, I thought he was. I thought he was close, uh, but uh, from our vantage point, and there's nothing we could do at that point because it's you know replay review. So. I'm sorry. In the moment, while you're watching a play. Yeah, I thought he. I thought he was short. Yeah. Had he caught it originally? It seemed like he caught it, bobbled it, and caught it. Again. Yeah. Then I thought he had a chance. Yeah, I thought he would have had a chance to get it for sure. A second down play though, a second drive when Griffin was wide open. Just talk us what. This field's just putting zipping the ball too much. That seems like a pass that I should be able to Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't asked him about that and talked to him. But, uh, you know, it was a great play. It's a great, great call. What kind what? of things are you telling him to keep him engaged in the bank of taking a beat like this? Yeah, so first of all, I mean, uh, you know, I told him afterward, man, he is tough. I mean, that guy is tough. And, man, he can get out of a lot of things. And, and he, that one run he had, down the side, I mean, that's some of that stuff's just amazing. You know, the type of player he is. 
I mean, the toughness, the mental toughness that he has. I mean, it's 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 phenomenal, you know. So he'll he'll hang in there with the best of them, you know. And uh, uh, it's, it's exciting to see, you know, the guys rally around him and see that toughness because you you'll rally around a guy like that, you know. That's just got that mental and physical toughness that he has. And uh, so I just told him I was real proud of him the way he hung in there. So again, they got some good D linemen. Obviously, they got some first rounders, and and they're going to give a lot of guys fits as they have. But uh, um, yeah, I was just real proud of him. Do you need to reassess the offensive line during this break? We're going to reassess everything. Yeah, we're going to reassess everything. I mean, everything we're going to reassess from scheme to, to you know, players to everything. You know, and we're going to do a, a good job of that here coming up. And we're going to do a good job of, of really getting it to the players. You know, if it might be a lineup change or, or it might be, uh, you know, technique fundamentals, that all that scheme, how we're running certain plays, who we're getting the ball to, uh, what we're doing well, what we need to improve on. So that's going to be, you know, we, we're going to look at all that for sure. Matt, are you satisfied with the pass rush right now? Well, the answer to that is never satisfied with the pass rush, you know, so it's always got to be better. Um, I thought we did a good job of getting some sacks. You know, I th some of those were pressures that we called on third down, um, certainly, but uh, uh, we'll, just, we'll just look at it and evaluate that uh, going forward. That'll be one, th one of the things we evaluate. But uh, sack numbers need to be up a little bit more, so and, and the pressure numbers need to be up too. You guys seem to put more guys in the last term, which is something you and Alan talked about during the week. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, I was, we were in there, in there together, visiting, you know, and uh, we, we uh, in a short week like this, and you know, every week, but uh, it was, uh, it was good. It was a good plan. It was a good plan for third down for sure. Matt, with Bayless and the, and the fumble at the eight yard line, is this just a matter of he needs more time to be comfortable returning punts, considering the muff in New York and now this one? Yeah, we're going to have to look at that. I mean, the number one job of any kick returner or punt returner is to catch the ball. So we're going to have to look at that. Was wind a factor? Uh, I, I, there wasn't, I mean, the wind wasn't, it wasn't that bad out there, I don't think. We talked last week about how, especially in the second half, Justin looked like he was growing in front of our eyes. What did you see today? Did it, did it feel like he took a step back? No, I don't think so. I think he took a step forward. I really do. Because... Because the, the the you know he was uh, the toughness you know and the able to the ability the what's what, for me the ability to take the ball and drive it down at the very end to give us a chance to win it that's to me what was the improvement okay was there other moments you know that he we need to clean up and offense needs to clean up sure but we had the drives down there and if we punch those in the game's a different game you know it's good that's twenty one points right so um, for me that was really uh, inspiring to watch him do that at the very end to take us down to win it um, at the very end. And, and again, we came up short, but uh, we got to do a better job next time. How about his touchdown? The down tech taking advantage of a free play there. Great. That was awesome. It was great. We've been trying to pull that off, you know, uh, the, uh, these first few games, and, and we did. And, man, what a throw. You know, we all know he's a great deep ball thrower, and, and he threw it, right, threw it right in there. And Dante had a great, great catch and great execution. Do you, you think Justin Fields took a step forward tonight? Well, I'm just saying that he asked if it was, you know, step forward, step back. I think if you look at, for me, taking that drive to take us down for a chance to win it, okay, that's a step forward because it was two, it was during two minute and it was when it counted. So to me, that's encouraging and that's a step forward in that in that light. Now, on fourth, fourth and eleven, on um, the second to last drive, yep. take a delay. Yeah. What was, the, what was the problem? Well, I saw Justin clapping, right? Ball, 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 ball. And we thought the ball was going to get snapped, right? Because sa we said, hey, you know, take the timeout. You know, it's two, three. And he's clapping, clapping, clapping. The ball never came. So um, we just got to do a better job there. Got to snap the ball. I'm sorry. Did you uh, on the throw to Pettis in the end zone at the end? Yeah. Did you argue for pass interference? Of course. And did, what did you think? I mean, did you believe you had a strong case for that? Yeah, it doesn't matter. They, they when they call it, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do at that point. It's pass interference, but uh, you, you can argue it if you want to. You know. Thanks, guys. Yep.